everyone and assalamu alaikum welcome back to another episode of Rabia's makeup tutorials so <laughs> today I wanted to do like a really really fun easy glittery bridal shower appropriate smoky eye this is basically a glittery eye look and uh, I'm using a new palette which I got in the mail today I have been waiting for so long to get it and as soon as I did I opened it I looked at it, I was like, I'm sitting and doing a tutorial on this because this is so beautiful and that is this new Too Faced palette. I'll be talking more about it in my video. So if you guys are interested in knowing how to get this glittery, silvery, such a sparkly, amazing look, then keep on watching. So I've already done my base and I've even contoured and you know bronzed up my skin. I haven't done blush or highlight or anything because I just want to play around with the eyeshadows. And this is a product which I am so excited for. I waited like a month and a half to get this. And this is basically this little glitter eyeshadow palette from the new Too Faced Holiday Collection. And this basically comes in like um, a big set which is like a house and I'll just link it up. And what that does is that it has an eyeshadow palette, it has a face kit which has a blush, bronzer and highlight and then you get these little glitters and these glitters are so beautiful like you can see I'm even showing the swatches. This palette has two mattes which I think is really um, smart of them because then you can just carry this around you know. You can create a whole look out of this because they have the central shades and this smells so nice like I don't know what it smells like but it smells sweet and it's so so nice so I just love glitters and anything like any palette which has like pressed glitters it always attracts me but I really really hope that these are nice because usually pressed glitters don't really work that well so this is like a first impressions and a review on what I think about this but the thing which motivated me to basically order this particular palette is that all four shades of the glitter are the kind of shades which you can use like for any occasion for weddings or anything these are such universal and neutral shades that I'm in love so without further ado we're gonna start the tutorial so I've already done my base as I've mentioned earlier and I'm just going to take some of my baking powder and dust that under my under eyes like that so that whatever fallout we have which this is even a test for the press glitters that if they have any fallout or not like do you have to do your base um after doing your eye makeup or you can work it with it like this so that's why i did my base in advance because i really wanted to test it out key glitters so first things first i am going to go in with my huda beauty uh, original palette. This is the Textured Shadows palette, the Rose Gold Edition. This is one of the first palettes I bought from Huda. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into the shade Moon Dust and just highlight my brow bone and inner corners with this. Okay, funny story about the Huda Beauty palette is that I bought this on my first trip to Dubai. And as well, Huda Beauty had recently launched this and there was the Anastasia Ka Makeup by Mario palette as well. So while talking, I'm also going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take this light brown shade and I'm going to basically mix it up with Shy. So this is Sandalwood and Shy. So I'm going to take more of this and a tinge of this and just um, blend it across my crease as a transition shade. Yeah, so Huda had come out uh, with this palette and Anastasia had collaborated with Makeup by Mario. And I swatched both palettes and even the makeup by Mario one was so amazing. But I don't know, I was so obsessed with Huda. Still am, but Uswag B, I was so obsessed. And this is like two years ago, I went in 2016. So I ended up buying this palette. And I even like told my sister, okay, you know, leave the Mario Wala palette. Um, let's just buy this palette. And that was such a big mistake because um, that palette was limited edition. And everyone who still has it, I... I'm so envious of them because that was such a beautiful palette and then um, I think last year Huda came out with the Rose Gold Remaster palette and I was like wow but all in all um, I think 
everyone must invest in this palette like the rose gold remastered because all the mattes and the shimmers are those kind of shades which you would basically reach for on a daily basis so this is like the perfect palette for all occasions and for everyone so like when i run out of this whenever that will happen i'm definitely buying the rose gold remastered so I'm taking more of sandalwood and less of shy because I don't want this to be a very pinky look. I just needed like a tinge of pink. So I have defined my crease. I'm actually going to dig into this bone color shadow. This is like a cream color shadow. And this has some kickback in the pan. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to feather out the transition a bit from the edges. Just to see how this like works with all the other shadows. And it does. So you can do this before adding transitions or after. I like to do it after because if my transition shade gets a little too dark for my crease, I go over it with such light bone colored shadows to basically buff it out like that. This looks nice. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in with this shade called Henna. This is basically a brown with an orangish tint to it. And using the same brush, I'm going to basically concentrate this more on my crease. And I'm using a really light amount because I just need to create some depth over there. So just going back and forth, I'm just going to do this. And whatever shades I use to define my crease, I also like roll them on to my outer corner. Like so. And while doing like define, like concentrating a shadow on my crease, I like to basically lift my eyes up so that I can see where the bone is and then buff out the shadow. And oh my god, this palette, the Too Faced one smells so nice. I can like still smell it because it's open in front of me. I'm going to take this dark brown shade. This is called Can't Catch Me. And I'm going to just uh, focus this on the outer V and define my eye with this. So I initially stamp the color on and then I just buff it out. And now since I need a base shade for my lid, I'm going to go in with this pigment by Inglot. This is in the shade 39. So I just lightly uh, press the pigment onto my lids. Now I'm going to move on to the fun bit and I'm going to go in with this glitter right here. And this is in the shade Frost Yourselves. So with pressed glitter pigments, I don't like using a brush because I feel that doesn't pick up the product as nice and you know, it can get messy. So I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm going to actually, like you can see, my finger is clean. I'm going in. Wow. Now, obviously glitters always are impressive on this finger. On the finger. Yes. And I'm pressing. Oh, wow. I hope the camera is picking it up because this is really nice. Like, can you see the difference? I'm just going to apply a little bit more. And this pressed beautifully. Oh my god. It's very reflective and it's very, very nice. Wow. Yeah, I can see there is a difference. I hope you can too. But this, wow, this is exactly the kind of glitter I wanted. I'm so happy with this. So in all honesty, I'm very, very impressed with this glitter. It doesn't have, like, I have a few flecks, like one or two, but obviously with glitter that always happens, but... This is nice. I love it. It's really nice. I was actually really skeptical about this, but oh wow. <laughs> this is perfect. So I'm just going to do my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to take this pencil brush, which is the 223 Petite Eye Blender by Zoeva. And I'm going to go in with the same shades that we used on our crease, which is Shy and Sandalwood. And I'm also going to mix Henna with it. Like I'm mixing all three shades and just buffing it out into my lower lash line. 
I'm also going back in with the Too Faced palette and using the shade Can't Catch Me, which is a dark brown shade, I'm going to use this to add more depth to my lower lash line. Okay, a piece of advice. Um, when working with glitters, make sure that all your transition shades and all your blending is done beforehand because once you apply glitter, now glitter is a texture. So you don't want to like apply glitter and then go over it with a blending brush or over your transitions or anything like that. You don't want to touch it because if you touch it, that will result in fallout. So I just press the glitter and I'm done. Like I will not be touching my lid with any further shadows or any brush or anything. This is done. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. This is a waterproof one and this is the most amazing eyeliner you can ever get. And this is so cheap. And I'm just going to do a little, little cutesy wing. As a final step, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Midnight Cowboy. You can use any white or nude eye pencil and just put it on my lower waterline. So I applied my lashes and I'm back. I'm going to just dust out the excess baking powder from under my eyes. And what I'm also going to do is that I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line because they feel incomplete without it. Now I'm gonna move on to some blush and the blush I'm going in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cocktail Party and I'm going to use this light pink shade and just dust this on the apples of my cheeks. Um, for a highlight, I'm going in with my favorite bling bling highlight. This is by Dose of Colors in the shade Soulmate. This is a collaboration one with I Love Sarahi. And I'm just going to apply this where I would apply my highlight. So we are almost done. Last things last, I'm going to do lips and with a white polka dot, I always like having a bit of like a purplish pinkish lip. So I'm going to go in first of all with this Kylie lip liner and the shade Extraordinary. So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goldie. Uh, this is the MAC Retro Matte in Flat Out Fabulous. This is such an amazing shade. I'm obsessed with it these days. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And um, my honest, honest review on this Too Faced little holiday palette. This is amazing. It's a must buy. If you guys can get this from the whole quad, I highly, highly recommend it. Because first of all, it smells beautiful. I love things which have like, especially makeup, which has a really nice fragrance. And this, this just... It's amazing. And the glitter, I had no fallout. It went on very smoothly. Like initially, I was skeptical about it because it felt a bit grainy and chunky, but that's what glitter is. But it went on so, so beautifully and it stayed put. And even the mattes in this, they're so pigmented and they blend very easily. So all in all, it's a great palette. I love how the whole look came about and I hope you guys did as well. A plus for this palette and I hope to see you guys in my next tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, comment, do everything, promote me. Thank you a lot.